Hello and welcome to the Superhero Hub. I'm Sam. I'm Matt. And today we're reviewing Gotham. Yep. Episode four, The Demon's Head. Um, your thoughts? Because I know you thought it was one of the strongest episodes of TV you've ever seen. T- tell the viewers more. I, I certainly wouldn't go that far. I think it was one of the. It was alright, I thought it was pretty good, I guess. I mean, aside from that... What the hell was that dog man thing? That was ridiculous. I knew you'd like that. Um, That was absurd. Well, you've got to think that, like, this Rachel Gould character... I like when they do stuff with him, like, when he was at the museum and he was picking up the urn and talking about like people he'd met in his travels and stuff like that I like hearing that sort of stuff so you gotta figure you know what I mean if there's a pit that brings people back to life you gotta think there's he's come across some other booky stuff in his travels sure it's a weird show with some weird stuff in it I draw the line at that though okay it's, it's ridiculous so yeah basically Bruce has taken the blade to uh, an expert to kind of see what's going on. Now, I, I remember, like, b- like before the season started, they were talking about, like, this Alex Winthrop kid, and they were like, ah, oh, something happens to him that, like, changes everything for Bruce or whatever. And I was thinking, like, the kid was going to get hurt, and then Bruce was going to, like, be like, look, help him, and uh, whack him in the Lazarus pit, and I'll be your heir or something, but nothing nothing that intricate. Well, this this episode was written by Ben McKenzie, the guy who, the guy who plays Jim Gordon, which is, like, random. So, yeah, I guess... Uh, they, they it's interesting he got a writing credit. Normally, once, once the shows get into their run a little, you'll see a lot of the cast will direct an episode yeah but it's not often they write one Mm. interesting so yeah so you had I guess the 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 granddad was reading the knife and it was saying about it didn't really say much really like I guess like the main idea is like you use the knife to kill the 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 racial ghoul and then you become racial ghoul or whatever you know that kind of contrived stuff whether that's your actual name or not i don't know because you never really knew what the chinese man was called so uh, you don't know whether they're kind of going the arrow route and it's more of a title as opposed to a but you got to figure if he's been kicking for two thousand years it's like his name it's not a title you know what i mean mm. You can go either way, really, can't you? You can get you can get to a point where even his name doesn't really matter if he's lived for two thousand years. I mean, it might, it might as well be a title. Mm. Who cares? Ultimately, but basically, there's one Ray Shadow. It's him. Arrow can throw John Barrowman there all they want. It's not going to matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh... And Nissa, I guess, because Nissa wanted it as well. So would her name have had to have been changed or whatever? I don't know. So anyway, uh, so blah 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 knife, and then the kid goes on the run, and Raish brings uh, Anubis or a weird kind of bold, like dog guy, to do whatever. Yeah, and also a, a bigger broody guy. Yeah. yeah. Do we ever get? Do we get a name for that one? No. Not as important. No, I thought they were gonna do something like that and make him of interest, but no such luck. Okay. So yeah, it was a kind of cat and mouse episode, I guess. Uh, you had Penguin kind of calling uh, Sophia, your your favorite character, into a meeting to kind of uh, I've. She pulls faces, and it makes me think like she's gonna tur- she she's gonna be a crazy. Yeah, I mean they can, they they can, they can they can do whatever they want. Clearly, the show isn't tied or bound to comic book storylines. But if they do, then she's a nut job killer. So yeah, m- see why not? My kind of hope is that she'd take on the Falcone role. And just kind of be the kind of gangster girl or she, whatever. She could do that. The problem is, ultimately, how, 
you can't really do that long term with the penguin popping around in this show. That's why they had to move Falcone out. And they killed off what's her face, Will Smith's wife. It's like, you know, ultimately there's only gonna be one kingpin of Gotham and it's Penguin, so I that's why I don't think she's gonna last long term. Which is disappointing. Certainly is. So yeah, so she turns up and she's like, Oh yeah, I'm not up to anything and it's like, Okay, then we'll see But there's a bunch of Falcons boys who disappeared, so I'm waiting for them to pop up and then they pop up in her house and I guess she gives a performance. Um <laughs> uh but that's the end of the episode, no, a different performance <laughs> And um and kind of she's like oh get out get out and then penguin turns up and muller's uh uh muller's the guy isn't it it's just like oh i guess i can trust you or whatever and then you got the riddler do kind of trying to get penguin's attention so he sends in the beatboxing guys i see that's that's the goofy weird crap i can get on board with Mm. that was ridiculous but i was fine with it I, I like I like doing their do it and then Victor Zaz would be like can we torture them and he's like nah 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 just send them off on their way and then like the second time they pop up when he can't work it out it's just like yeah go ahead um so yeah uh the Riddler's doing whack riddles and and then eventually pops up and is just like look Penguin's just like y- you you ain't the same guy you're whack so I ain't even gonna bother killing you off you pop so I guess he's gonna go on a a voyage of discovery. I mean, he's kind of uh, ostracized from everyone because of his kind of riddler stuff. So I mean, it's not like he can uh, go and lead a normal life. So I guess he's just gonna be wandering around until something happens in which he kind of pulls himself back together. Um, yeah, and then you got Rachel Gould turning up at the police station, like in a in glasses and a jumper, and is like as a sit down with Jim about the knife. And then Alfred turns up, and there's a fracas, and then he vanishes. And then he turns up later at the um, turns up later at the museum, and he gives the old detective thing a couple times. What did you think of that? You like that, huh? I thought it was alright the first time that it was my in. <laughs> well, that's all he does anyway. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. uh, yeah, he, he gives it. He gives it a couple times. I mean, yeah. So it was funny. Let's just get to the bit. I didn't think he'd kill the kid. That's kind of cool. I just hope he doesn't throw him in the pit <laughs> and bring him back and make it irrelevant. Um. Why would he? Well, but Bruce could do it as well, though, couldn't he? Yeah. But like it's probably like long long done now so i mean see i like it it's like why would he is is like two thousand years old it's like who cares everything's irrelevant to him because he knows he's had experience so like yeah i'll kill the kid whatever you know what i mean he's always going on about destroying cities and stuff like that so like think how many like when uh when he like if we take batman begins for example when he talks about uh the the great fire of london and being part of that think how many kids were killed in that so i mean let's be serious he wasn't really part of that though was he not to go on a batman begins dice right but he's not really supernatural in the movie but i'll get your point yeah so it's a part i mean when he destroyed gotham (laughs) or half you know what i mean so he's a terrorist yeah so shouldn't really be bothered with that and bruce takes it hard and i guess he's gonna go on a mission like one thing that bothered me is like he get like race gets lets himself get arrested and sent to black gate and it's like why and he doesn't like i was expecting the whole escape maybe that's like the angle they were working i was expecting the whole escaping out the van but he just kind of walks into black gate and you just sit there and think like and he got better thi- I, I kind of figure he's got better things to do than like let himself get Maybe. locked up but I kind of saw the preview for next episode and I guess he's like uh, Bruce is like super angry whether he knew Bruce would be super angry and come after him or whatever maybe I think maybe it was just like an attempt to lure Bruce out to like kill him in retribution but he didn't really know that kid too well but maybe that'll play into it better 
You know I what I mean? I think he wants to kill Bruce. If he wanted to kill Bruce, <laughs> no, he, he want, would have never No, he wants Bruce to kill him, I mean. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm not sure he does, though. Well, well yeah, because... Not, not yeah, maybe long term to take over, but... Race is always been about self-preservation, at least in the comic book, because he doesn't really want an heir. And much as he bangs on about Batman being his heir, in reality, he's going to nick the body of his grandson and whoever else to keep on living. Hmm. So, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure he wants him to join the league. I guess that's his long-term goal. Yeah, well, he needs to train him anyway. So, yeah, basically... Um, so, yeah, and then at the end you've got Sophia recounting an old story and then Jim kind of... They, they, they mack out on the sofa and it's like, I wonder, like, when it says he's a writer, did he write the whole episode or does he write bits and pieces? Because you got you got to think he wrote that bit at the end. I would have. If I was him, I, I would have. <laughs> it was super goofy, though. I was like, are they going to mack out? Especially after that story as well, like... Um, didn't he go and see him? Did, didn't he go and see Barbara in this episode as well? Yeah, he kind of he, he was asking questions, and then Bruce kind of turns up and is like, "Oh, is your is your patron Rachel Ghoul?" And then it's like that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk numbers, man. I liked it. Eight. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I'll give it an eight as well. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. very good. I know it, next episode's going to be a full on G up. I know it's going to be flexing, and I'm excited for that. I'm Sam. <laughs> I don't know what you just said on that. And we'll see you next time for more Superhero Hub reviews. Gotham.